Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus and today I want to talk about quick chargers. Uh, everybody knows you know you have a gizmo like a smartphone or a tablet and they give you a particular quick charger and of course the whole point of quick charging is that if you use a normal USB cable and you plug say a smartphone in uh, it's going to take forever to charge the battery so they have these things called quick chargers. Now um, it's a little complicated because there are there's quick charge, which is an official standard. Then there's also supercharge, warp charge, turbo power, boost master, adaptive fast charging, super platinum, mega, zippy, chargey, wargy. There's like a million different versions and flavors. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to call it quick charging. Normally, you have a phone, you plug it in, maybe it'll take three, four, five hours to fully charge the battery. This way with a quick charger, maybe it tops it off to say 80% in 30 minutes, in 40 minutes, 10 minutes later, maybe it's up to like 90 or 95% and that way you get on with your life. So what happens is you buy say like a smartphone and then they give you a quick charger and you know, you take a look at this thing and it's just, you know, you plug that end, that end in the wall socket and it's got a USB port and it comes with a USB cable. Now, the thing is, if you actually read the instructions, what they will actually tell you is, oh, if you're going to quick charge it, you have to use the wall adapter. Well, that makes sense because there's a lot of juice coming from the wall, right? Um, okay, but then when you look at the cable, it's, you know, like in this case, I've got a USB Type-C connector on one end, and the other end, it's just your normal four-pin USB cable. Yet when you read the instructions, they tell you uh, specifically use this specific charger and not any other one and use this specific USB cable. But again, you look at it and it looks like any other USB cable. So why do they tell you you must use this charger and this cable? There's obviously something special about both of them. Well, in order to answer this question, let us take a closer look at my quick charger. So here you can see the quick charger. And if you look in there, it's just a normal USB 2.0, uh, socket it's got four pins and the other end this is a European plug but if we look really closely here at the text we can see that it says input 100 to 240 volts blah 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 output 5 volts 2.5 amps 9 volts 2 amps 12 volts 1.5 amps. Now here we have our first clue because as we know USB supplies 5 volts and USB 3.0 is typically, well, we call it 1 amp, but it's actually 0 0.9 amps. And since power equals voltage times current, that means that a normal USB 3 port can supply 4.5 watts of power. Now, when you have a big honking smartphone like this guy, it's going to have a battery that's going to suck up lots of juice. So you'll want more power. The more power that you can get over your USB cable into your phone, the merrier. But again, as I said, if you just use this USB cable and you plug this end into the phone and this end into the computer, it's going to give you a warning on the phone and say, oh, it's, you're charging slowly, you should use the quick charger. So what's actually going on here? Well, if we take a closer look at an actual USB plug, we see we have four pins here labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, and the two outer pins, they supply 5 volts. The two outer pins, that's where you get the power for charging. Pin number one is positive, pin number four is essentially ground. There you go, you've got your five volts, that's how it charges. And the center two pins are for sending and receiving data. So the trick that quick chargers use is they send an extra signal. Here I've shown it as a green square wave. And as you can see, you have your five volts going in on pin one, the positive side, but you also have this digital signal, this crazy square wave. And that is actually the secret to how quick chargers really work. So you have, say, your smartphone or tablet and you have your quick charger and they're connected by a cable. Now normally, if this guy has a USB port, he's just going to output 5 volts. You can't actually up the voltage or current without potentially damaging the phone. So when you first connect it up with the USB cable, it says, okay, I'm going to provide 5 volts and maybe 1 amp or something. And then the data, the, the charger actually sends a data signal to the phone and the phone responds and they talk to each other and they negotiate and say, hey, I'm capable of being charged at a higher charging rate. And he says, hey, I'm capable of providing more juice. And so then the charger actually starts outputting more power. But how exactly does it do that? So here we have a nice graph 
with current on the x-axis, 1 amps, 2 amps, 3 amps, 4 amps, 5 amps, and volts on the y-axis. And of course, as we know, power equals voltage times current. So in order to get more power to your phone to charge it, you need to either increase the voltage or increase the current. So the basic way that quick charging works is using that data signal, the two gizmos, in this case the charger and my smartphone, they communicate with each other using that, that green data signal, and they negotiate and they say, hey, uh, we, can bo we both support quick charging, so let's increase the voltage. And so the actual charger that you plug into the wall starts increasing the voltage. Now you can see here that 5 volts at 1 amp, which is typical for USB 3.0, uh, that's going to give you that red square. But what if we increase the voltage to 9 volts? We don't have to increase the diameter of the wires. All we have to do is increase the voltage that's being supplied. Well, if we do that, then we have almost twice as much power being provided to charge our battery. Now here you can see that the, the 9 volt square, that blue square, that's actually almost twice the size of the red square since all of these are overlapping, and the area of the square is the amount of power being supplied to charge your gizmo. Well, okay, but what if, we, what if we supply 12 volts or even up to 20 volts? Well, the higher the voltage goes at 20 volts, you see the area of that green curve, it's freaking huge. And that's beautiful because at 20 volts, you have 20 volts times 1 amp, which is 20 watts. So 5 volts, 1 amp, you're getting uh, 4.5, 5 watts. At 20 volts, simply by bumping the voltage up, you've actually increased the power to charge the battery by almost a factor of 4. But in the example that I just showed, uh, it's, they're just uh, changing the voltage. So what if you could change the current? Well, in a normal USB cable, the wires are a particular diameter. And as we know, you can only stuff so much current over a wire of a certain diameter. If you stuff too much current over the wire, it heats up, and then the voltage drops and bad things happen. So the reason that they tell you oh, you, your phone has quick charging, use this specific USB cable, is because this specific USB cable actually has slightly thicker wires in it. And because it has slightly thicker wires, not only does it negotiate, hey, you know, I'm going to send a higher voltage, is that okay? It also increases the current. So what would that look like? Well, if you look at our new graph here, you can see that if you have a standard USB 3.0 port, you're going to get 5 volts, about 1 amp, you've got 5 watts, right? That's the little red square. Let's say we bump the voltage up to 9 volts, but we can also supply more current up to 2 amps. Well, if that's the case, then you can supply almost four times as much power as the standard 5 volts and 1 amp. And if you can supply 20 volts and something as high as 5 amps, you have that greenish box, which is a whole boatload more power. In fact, up to 100 watts of power over what appears to be a simple USB cable. And so that is the secret to quick chargers. This guy can communicate with this guy over this cable, and this cable is not anything particularly special. There aren't any extra pins in here or anything. It's basically two standard USB plugs, but in many cases, the thickness of the wires in the cable, it's a little bit higher, so it can carry higher current. The gizmos communicate with each other, and they establish, yes, let's bump up the voltage, let's bump up the current, and in so doing, this little wall charger, which looks like every other wall charger, he can actually send tons of power to charge your battery faster. Now, one last note, there are many different flavors of quick charging, and um, there are schemes that are way more complex than what I've shown here. This is sort of the uh, olden days way of doing quick charging. New versions of quick charging use like one of the data pins in like USB 3.1 and blah, 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 and it gets all hairy and complicated. But the general idea is the same. You have to have some way for your charger and your gizmo to communicate with each other and establish that, yes, we can both handle more power, and so then the charger supplies more juice, and Bob's your uncle. So that's about it. Uh, for more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.